how to model curved beams or slabs in quick structure quick structure is a software for the modeling analysis design and detailing of reinforced concrete elements in this video i will demonstrate how you can use it to model curved slabs and beams to model rectangular panels or slabs is easy just click on rectangular panel click and drag to required dimension and click again to enter panel next click on slab panel right click and select reference by panel slash copy panel then select copy selected right to place another copy of the panel to the right quick structure can't model through curved slabs or beams i stand to be corrected on this so what you can do is to model the curve using series of short straight lines to do this click special panels then irregular slash regular polygon panel draw straight lines by clicking and dragging in approximation to the curved shape press enter when done now click create new beams slash pans and the software provides the general beam arrangement to create multiple floors click copy floor then copy create multiple floors and then click copy and create multiple floor to create three additional floors on clicking you will notice in addition to the created floors columns are automatically added now notice by default columns are placed at every beam endpoint of the curve this is not what we may want to remove these columns let's first of all delete them click create column then clear all columns to delete all columns next click create new beams slash pans then click beam properties using the beam properties dialog we can edit the start and end conditions of the beams drag the beam properties box to the right so you can see your model now you can select each beam one by one and then you can edit the start and end conditions if necessary highlighting beam one you can see it has only one span that is span one click on span one and in the properties section scroll until you find start support type and end support type you will see that they both say column support change both to primary beam support as a convention for horizontal beams the start point is on the left of your screen and the end point to the right of your screen for vertical beams the start point is at the top of beam looking at your screen an end point is the bottom scrolling down the beam collection we can observe that beam 4 has two spans span 1 is within the curve click span 1 and change start support type to primary beam support do similarly for beam 5 for beam 7 and beam 8 change the start and end support time of the spans to primary beam support if done correctly on clicking create column and then create column for the old structure recommended you will see that no columns is positioned within the curved path